Hello, and welcome to Sunday Tai Chi. I'm Sifu Galen. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel, as well as turning on the notification settings so that you'll be aware whenever I post new videos. In today's practice, you'll notice I'm starting off a little bit different with a couple of moments of the hold the tree posture. Beginning and ending your practice with this hold the tree posture will help you work on balance and supporting leg muscles. Additionally, it will help pre-exhaust the unessential leg muscles that might cause excess tension in your postures throughout the form. In previous lessons, I've discussed briefly the idea of the arms settling on top of the water. This is to help the practitioner when they are making the postures to not put effort into holding the arms up, but rather letting them stay up of their own accord as if they were sitting on top of the water. Another imagery set that can help you get to the same desired posture end result can be thinking about your arms as if they were hoses spraying out water through your fingertips. This imagery will also help the practitioner focus on the connection between their fingertips and their toes as their toes grip the floor in each of their postures through the weighted foot. If one imagines the strength of a fire hose, it is not from the hose itself, but rather the water flowing through the hose. Analogous to this force of water coming through a hose should be your intention coming through your fingertips. It is not so much that your arm is being held up by strength of the arm going in an upward motion, but the intention going through your fingertips is so strong that your arm cannot be moved up, down, or otherwise. The only danger in using this imagery is the idea that the practitioner might be tensing up their muscles. The muscles should be softened to the point where they virtually disappear. The practitioner should only concentrate on the flow of intention or water coming out of the fingertips with such ferocity and such intent that it would hold the arms up if they weren't being held up by the person's breath and overall intention. Briefly, I did mention the idea of softening, which is wholly Master Chen's teaching, and I do not want to advertise that this is something that I came up with. Nor do I really think that any of my ideas or imagery used in helping the practitioners become aware of Tai Chi form are wholly original. Rather, they are things that were taught to me and I am relaying for the benefit of everyone. Master Chen's teaching of softening is particularly poignant because it helps the practitioner relax the body without losing deliberateness or intention. Many Tai Chi instructors use the term relax, but often that leads the practitioner to feeling that the movements are haphazard and not focused. It's like when you see a very good car driver, they're not up against the wheel, hugging it, showing their intention, although they are relaxed, seated back, and still alert to the road and able to react to what they are viewing. So if we think about the arms again, another bit of imagery that will help a practitioner dial in the exact type of posture that is intended for Tai Chi they can also think of their arms being completely muscleless and floating upwards as if their arms were complete balloons, if only tethered to the earth by small weights that are tied to their joints. In this sense, the palm of the hands, the forearms, and the upper arms are all floating, but the arms are weighted down by small weights tied by rope circumferencing around their elbows, their shoulders, and their wrists. Then, if the practitioner imagines both the hose flowing through the balloons at the same time, it will really help the person, practitioner really, identify the exact feeling and posture that they should be taking on through their arms. The legs and the body should have this same feeling of weightlessness, but it is a weightlessness that has intention behind it, not a weightlessness that is haphazard or incidental. Although that intention does not necessarily have to be destination-oriented, 
If the practitioner thinks of surfing versus merely floating, this can also illustrate the difference between intention and just relaxation. When someone rides a wave on a surfboard, although it is a relaxing pastime, it is not without intention. Someone who's just sunbathing in a raft is intentionless and merely going with the current, whereas someone who is surfing is using the current to their advantage. This is very in tune with the spirit of Taoism, which teaches to use the flow of the universe to realize one's own intentions. As always, I'd like to thank you for joining me. I'd like to remind you to like this video and subscribe to the channel in general, and also turn on the notification settings so that you'll be aware when new videos are posted. I wish you a great week, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.